Ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday tonight for our reception party. Let's give it up for Courtney.
Bob Sing the song sa Pride and Mom
Everybody here? You thought that was important, right? You think that was live. That's how uh, amazing that band is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, everybody here in the ballroom already, we are about to start with our uh, reception program. We'd like to request that this time for the members of the Wedding Entourage to please proceed to the entrance of our uh, ballroom tonight. We are about to kick off the celebration with uh, Mathadel and Mia. All right, so we're talking about the uh, bridesmaids, the maid of honor, and then the members of the Wedding Entourage. You know, you know who you are. If you're here in the ballroom, please proceed to the um, entrance by the um, greeting area of our ballroom at this time to prepare for your entrance as well. And as our uh, wedding entourage proceeds to do that, we would like to um, present something very special for everybody. This is to get you teased for the uh, upcoming celebration. All eyes on our left wall, please, to find out how we all ended up here tonight. Our special proposal, ABB. Yes. See? Parking with the parking with the CES in the 
Mr. Mark Ambrose Guillermo, and Mrs. Rosalie Beth Guillermo. Let's proceed with Mr. Wilfredo Capito and Mrs. Mary Ann Capito. On this side of the table. And of course, Mr. Jaime Yap Jr. and Mrs. Josephine Yap. Sir, good evening. Uh, of course, last but not the least, Mr. Neil Novo and Mrs. Suzette Novo. Table. Ladies and gentlemen, your Ninong and your Nina. Well, technically, of course, Mia and Nathan. And uh, they'll be seeing more of these accomplished individuals later on in their marriage life. Let's proceed, of course, to give credit to the tree that bore the fruits. All right? And uh, you can't run away from the DNA. So Mia and uh, Nothing Lost Accomplishments, credited to them as well for raising these two. So let's give a big round of applause, please. Of course, we'll acknowledge Daddy who's up in heaven as well. A big round of applause, please. And Mr. Eduardo Bo, and of course, Mommy Nancy Bo, who's here tonight. Oh, yeah. Of her husband as well. Mommy, good evening. That is, of course, Nathaniel's mom, representing the group side of the family. For the bright side, Daddy Roberto as well. I'm sure celebrating with Daddy Eduardo up in heaven. Let's acknowledge Mom Rosalind. Salutare. So the two beautiful mommies are here, of course, on behalf of their husbands who are up there looking down at the celebration tonight. So we have a college hour VIPs. Let's get to the party. All right, so let's start, ladies and gentlemen, by showcasing our special teaser, Save the Day presentation. And through this journey. Let's give it up for our wedding entourage and we'll start with our first dancing couple. A big round of applause, please, as they make their entrance together. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chad Alexado Roperos and Felix Pachola Lucero. Thank <laughs> you. 
Everybody talks with a whole lot of dancing later tonight, but for now, let's leave it up for Edward Lyro and Kathleen Bellion. Mr. and Mrs. Gold. 
Of course, our uh, special dancing tonight. Let's pay tribute to uh, the ones who uh, reared and raced and prepared these two for their life now and the life ahead. So let's pay tribute to the first woman in Nathaniel's life. And we would like to request, of course, Nathaniel, please escort your uh, beautiful mother as you pay tribute to her in a dance. Ladies and gentlemen, the group stands with the mother. This 
side, we'd like to request for your unwavering attention as we showcase on the dance floor one of the highlights of tonight's reception party. The most important dance that has deeper meaning than just a song and the dance steps. Ladies and gentlemen, their first dance as Gay Lewis.
brothers and sisters, let us put ourselves in the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you for gathering us today to celebrate the reading of this wonderful family. Thank you for the sacrament of matrimony you bestowed on Nap and Mia. We ask you to bless them, their family and loved ones. Help Nap and Mia to be strong in any adversity and to be charitable and humble in time of prosperity. Protect them and their future offspring to the Rabanikabuo. And may they treasure the gift of barriers they receive the rest of their life. May we, their family and friends, commit to uphold and encourage them to be together to the best of our ability. Let this banquet be an honor to your holy name. As we pray together, bless us, O Lord and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your goodness through christ our lord amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen amen thank you to one of our enoms mr Nilo Novo, for that wonderful prayer not only for food but of course for our couple and their journey the next chapter in life. all right so ladies and gentlemen we will be peace with our new website let this be an opportunity to mingle with the crowd and promote camaraderie as you uh, dine well. And don't forget, we do have our mobile bar. So for those who want to loosen up and have your cocktails and your drink of choice, that opens at this time as well. And the photo booth outside also reopens. Of course, for the VIPs, our uh, Enos and Enos with the parents, your food will be served to you later for the rest of the guests to facilitate a smooth transition from photography to the pay station. We would like to uh, request our guests to uh, await the instruction of our COVID-18 for your turn to have your pictorial with Nathaniel and Mia. Then you may proceed to the buffet spread and uh, enjoy the dinner prepared tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, of course we'll have more there once again. We will resume. We still have the cake and the wine celebration and a lot of things to look forward to. So, welcome once again to Nathaniel and Mia's reception party here at the Akasha Ballroom. Dinner is now served.
Cut work. Kita pergi bubuk. Kamu kau? Kau tahu siap? Nah, plaster ni mana? Berpusing lagi. Kau mana pusing ya? Bisa pusing tak kau? Thank mm-hmm. you.
Thank you. 
Oh, 
Ali. Pasang like is a run. Terima kasih.
enough video. I think we have a Is it 
That's the role of your partner. All right, and uh, Miss Neal, this the bites that they have shared, ladies and gentlemen, is a representative of that. So a big round of applause, please, for the slicing, the sharing, and the cake. We do you want your piece? You're gonna have to get in line later. All right. So of course, with that, we will have our white toasting. Now, is Camis going to uh, share a message still? Let us call on Camis Lucero and Danica Marie Lucero together. They will have their turn to uh, speak from their hearts. Come on, Camis. So uh, then, of course, we will have our uh, best men, and they will be the ones to officially lead in this house, okay? So uh, we will have the messages of our maids of honor. Caris, again, DJ Reese. And of course, Danica, with her message for our couple. I was only a few days old then, and she was nine months. So basically, I never knew what life is like without her. 1999 came, and Nika happened. So um, since then, it has always been the three of us. So for those of you who do not know how the love story of Matt and Nia happened, it happened way back um, the summer of 2009. So we were on a vacation in Manila because Luca was already living there. We were staying at their condo. And I can remember clearly how Mia said yes to not to be um, his girlfriend. Way back then, uh pa yung sad cellular na alikos and text. So ma imagine yun na lang yung grabe na telepaban and then madaling araw. They are only gonna turn 16 that time. So I think I got super annoyed. Because for, I think, more than a month, nandun kami sa condo. Tapos every night, grabe ko kami anak, mi anak, mi anak, nag-usap. So I got annoyed and said, So ko may please lang, pakisagot na yan si Nat para matahimik kasi sige mo na dito. So try mo lang. She was super hesitant that time because um, they were only turning 16. Super young and the parents wouldn't allow. So Shabra she would be to, to sneak and I hate Matt as well. But being the bad influence that we are, no beat it na siya. yes na go na. So sabi niya, okay, so but but I want to bring that home. Anyway, I will shop with my next get on. So fast forward 13 years later. A little bit more than 13 years later, here we are. Um, who would have thought? So, um, the relationship hasn't always been um, easy. The people who have been the closest to the couple to me and Nat would know that their journey wasn't really perfect. And along the way, doubts were always there. Doubts whether the relationship would work or not. It was not because they didn't love one another. The love was really there. But then, their situation has always been worked. For the past 11 years, it was kind of a struggle, despite being happy and despite loving one another. It seemed like love wasn't enough. Family and friends alike doubted that this day would come. 
a lot of people said that um, Mia could never marry Nat, or Nat could never marry Mia. It wasn't, um, it was easy, their love was easy, but then opportunities come for Mia and the career path for Nat was kind of different. But then despite that, they managed to, to choose one another despite the hardship. So, um, so, um, yeah, um, to me, um, I know how this day means so much to you. The both of you have always dreamed for this day to come because all of us thought it would never happen. But here we are. So, I'm asking you to please extend your patience to that. Because we both know how much she loves you. And you proved that to you today and a couple of years ago. Extend more your patience with that because it's not girl we can't know you. Hindi ko patalo kung may paglaban siya paglaban niya talaga. Remember na kaya tayo to go jen, to mati lang na gusto niya. Four hours kung ipag-away lang talaga siya. Kasi paglaban yung mga gusto niya sa life. So please, sana i-extend ko yung patience mo with that. Kasi yan na talaga yung ilip mo forever. Hindi siya siya magpatalo. Hindi siya magpatalo na si DDM ang president. Hindi siya magpatalo kung sino ang kanyang politician, kung sino ang kanyang support, kung ano ang kanyang kainin, kung ano ang mga gusto niya suotin. Hindi siya magpatalo. So, and to that, I ask that, May you always give your love and support to Mia? <laughs> because a lot of opportunities came her way. But then she had to make a lot of sacrifices as well. So that you two could be together and start building a family. So despite your differences, please always choose one another. Because remember that the 13 years has always been a struggle for the two of you, but you made it. So please continue to making it work. And again, to me, I know now the past couple of days, you have been so stressed and sad because Tito Yuri is no longer here. Anyway, um, the last couple of days you've been so sad because Tito Yuri is no longer here and you really wanted this thing to happen with him. But you know, as I was um, thinking about the things that I was doing your wedding day, I would end it with. I know Nat has always been the one for you. Because you remember when back in college, did the year was in the time, and he's always in his life all the time, not in the past. But what do you always say all the time? Ako wala na ako ng problema. Because he may have not said it to me. So I know, even if your dad is not here, He's super happy because he finally ended up with Nat and I know that he knows that you're in good hands. So congratulations and best wishes. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, what can I say after that, right? Kaka said it all, but of course, it's a spontaneous heartfelt messages. Those are the ones that really get you. And we all paid attention to that, so um, of course, that's why she uh, she's one of the uh, names of honor. She was a part of that journey with these two went through from the beginning. All right, so thank you, Kakai. Thank you, Denise, for sharing. Uh, can we toast? All right. So can we uh, can we call on our best man? Uh, I hope uh, you don't cry as much. 
<laughs> the tennis men are emotional too. Can we call uh, Chad Luis Romeros and Sashmir Yak? Our best men, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear that side of the story. And of course, this will uh, lead on to our uh, toast tonight. All right, so if you have your drinks ready, get ready as well. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> First of all, uh, wala dyan na po kaya-expect na nahihukong na despan ni <laughs> Nina. Uh, Abi na po nag-joke lang siya, pero here, here I am. Uh, anyway, it's really an honor of being your best man sa imong best moment in life siya. Uh, Mojin yung event na hindi na po pwede i-miss. Siyempre, makulang yung mga daw kung wala ko karun, no? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> <Dibito. laughs> For those na wala na kailas ako, my name is Chad Lois Roperos. Friend turned best friend ni Nat since high school. I remember kato bili pa kayo ni close sa high school. Ginag-date ko niya o board morning. Sabay sumba with a smile. <laughs> o niya, sa ako muna una, buwang mo, guru ni. Buwang mo, guru ni. Tower ni. Kadaan daw naman. <laughs> Pero kapalaw ko, nabutan din kayo ni Sina. Kaya na. <laughs> Ingana lang yun siya sa una mo, Greek. Since badminton niya ang sports before, uh, nakadula po na po siya tuwing break time. Kaya hindi pa po siya mag- Badula ko ang minto, sabay sa akong barkada. And dito na ko siya hinahinay, huwag na kaila. Pero sa college yun ni, naimong close kay, na classmate na ko siya sa accounting tech, which is accounting tech ko siya. Sige na mi ukita, mas iyon sa rain trip, magtampay kung walay klase, gadula o dota, mag-outing, tao pa ng barkada, mag-gym, kung gusto maging fit, Pero, pero ba? Naunsa naman ito. Diyan pa tausap na. And sa academics, bilip po po sa iya kay Bright Kaayo siya. Uh, labi na sa major na mo, which is accounting, book math, siyempre. Wala yung study study, pero ang grades, taas kayo. Mo na inspire po po sa iya, wala po po nag-study. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Nat is an invaluable friend. He is the kind of person that pushes you to be a better person. Nat is the kind of friend na willing to offer a ride kung wala kayo nasakyan pa ulit. So ano, kung wala sakyan na na. <laughs> Then, nakihit siya lang bigo siya ka. <laughs> Nat is the kind of friend na mag-text o tawag na asa na ka? Para ma-remind lang na natin kay nakaw. <laughs> Mo, it's an honor to be here with you in one of your greatest accomplishments in life. Dili na kayo nakutasun kay waiting pa yung isa po na to kabis Monday. <laughs> so, congratulations, Mia, and best wishes to both of you. Cheers. Thank you, John. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Sashmir. Okay, why not the Thank you. <laughs> so, good, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Sash. So, sitting kay Chad, I was forced to be his best friend. So, sadly, all that we have to listen to be for the next few minutes. So, uh, this is a sad um, So, a bit of a backstory. Um, Nat and I have been friends since high school. Um, from badminton to arcades, movies, and even starting inside ourselves. And even going to the gym. So, as Yeah, if you, if you can believe it, there was a time when I didn't really know. Um, very, very long time long. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I guess I've known that for about 30 to 40 years also. So, yeah, so I actually saw how they became together secretly. <laughs> okay. And I realized that 
Lumi, mali yung pinagawa na sika nila? 13 to 14 years na? Oo. Oh. Tama na siguro. <laughs> so, uh, and I can believe actually na uh, me ha, tight na. So, na I'm not willing na mag-spend a lifetime with you. So, I'm really surprised. Okay, so, na mention ni sa akay kanina, he's very annoying. <laughs> so, he has very strong beliefs on certain topics na parang even if you um, attack with logic, di tayo siya makinig, so, mag-give up ka na lang din sa ano. <laughs> so, good luck with that, Mia. And I'm really surprised that you don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> um, yeah. So, knowing that for that, though, I was also able to see um, how hardworking and loyal he has been. I know that okay, <laughs> he will take care and provide for you and your future family. <laughs> he will move out there for your happiness. I've seen him cry at the bar, <laughs> sharing his life stories with us. And that wasn't really, that was a different side of that. that was so I know that he really loves me. So with that, um, I'd like to say that I'm very happy for this new chapter of your life. And I pray for your love. Um, that's the state that I would like. And with that, I'd like to propose cheers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have your uh, wine glasses, please rise from your seats and raise your glasses as well. Be in water or wine or whatnot. All right. A lifetime of happiness. Okay, cheers to the newlyweds. Cheers. cheers. Bottle up. Don't drink and drive, right? So we have a phone call bar, which we'll be uh, reopening again at the end of uh, the celebration. Thank you once again. A big round of applause, please. All right. Of course, our best man, Todd and Tashmir, both will have a different take on their friendship. With uh, that, and of course, that hard fun lesson from Katai, at least we said, of course, accompanied by Danica for our uh, Ace of Honor. So, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, <laughs> we request once again, we're going to invite an attention, focus on our Land Mall, please. Earlier, we had the uh, pre doc photo with the very talented Kathleen Gooey as well, the Anga Lens. This time, we have a different team handling the video for our prenup. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We present to you our prenup video. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please. OBS Productions. Preparation for uh, the celebration tonight, and uh, thank you, OBS, for capturing that in video format. All right. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, did introduce them and acknowledge them earlier. Our uh, new loans and the principal sponsors. They do have that responsibility to deal with adults. You know, your young and Ida, if you are baptized as a baby, that's a different role for them. This time, they're dealing with adults, so they can provide advice, but they cannot interfere entirely. So uh, we will hear what they have to say about life and love and such. And of course, we will have one to represent the Ninangs and one to represent our Nino. Let's start with the gentleman, Nino Nelson Chikomping, for our male principal sponsor speech. Let's give him a big round of applause today. Kasi marami akong nakalang sikreto. 
Huwag kayo papayag na may papasok na ibang member doon sa triangle nyo. Kung may pumasok na hindi ng triangle nyo, may triangle nyo. Huwag kayo papayag na ibang person na papasok doon. Huwag kayo papayag na may papayag na may problem na papasok doon sa triangle nyo. Kasi problems of government are meant to be solved. Kaya nyo yung pag-usapan nyo. So, handle your relationship gagging. Conclusion ko, and no. That is what she did. God bless your relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please. Thank you, Ito. That's a, you know, Nelson Chigongi, all right? Also, a little about that as well. And, that was a very realistic you know, speech. You know, sometimes you hear from the Nino Sinitas a lot of uh, expectations from the couple that's unrealistic. But that was very realistic and he spoke truly. And um, the, the grouping aspect, of course, I'm very guilty of that as well because it's an add to cart thing, right? So sometimes my package that was taking time in Lazada. Alright, so anyways. Honesty, all right, full transparency. This time, let's hear from a female perspective, and we will hear from uh, Nina, Nina Suzette Noble, to represent our female principal sponsor tonight. See what she can share about the event tonight. Good evening, everyone. I have seen Nat and Mia since their preschool days back at Stella Maris Academy, where my children attended to, right? But I became close to them when they were in high school. They become good friends with my second daughter, Swani. So I have seen them grow, and I am happy for the Mercada. I'd like to honor these beautiful people here in the site because they stick together through the and thing, right? And I am happy for their growth as much as they enjoy their childhood. They were serious and focused in their studies. Now, all eight of them are professionals and landed a good job. Truly, I am proud. Nat and Mia, your little girl and I are honored that you allowed us to be part of reunion. I know you have your shares of pain, but you both lost your fathers. How you wish that you are here to witness this event in your life. But rest assured that they are happy up there looking at you. Because amidst the pain, you exude determination in fulfilling your dreams. The quarrels, the disagreements, in views, the annoying mat, the, the, uh, the annoying not, your different choices and things, the long distance when you started your career, you comfort it all, and you continue to stand strong. That's what we call love and compromise. Although you will still discover things individually as you go on, it might be flaws or weaknesses, but hold on to each other. Make those weaknesses your strength. And what was that again? Love and compromise. Let's go back to that. But remember that the most important key in marriage is God. Like what Renina said to you. Allow Him to be the center of your marriage and you'll never go wrong. Before I end, allow me to share with you her favorite Bible verse of your little Nino. In our 32 years of marriage, this is still our inspiration. It is in Psalm 127, it says, Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. It is useless for you to rise early in the morning and sleep late at night to eat bread earned by hard to toil. Hard toil, brother. All these gods provide for the people he loves, even when they are asleep. So Nat, congratulations. And Mia, best wishes. Stay blessed and be happy both. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please. Be like Suzette. No more. 
both, of course, speaking and uh, emphasizing on uh, the importance of God as the center of marriage. And people are probably wondering, okay, how does that work, right? Does God like to show up at your house and make the marriage work? No, it, he works through you, all right? When there's an argument, one of you has to uh, be the bigger person and swallow the pride. That's God working through you, right? So you wake up in the morning, you prepare breakfast for your wife, or you pay the bills. That's God working through you. That's that's the role he plays in marriage. Wait till you get to the kids, right? And when you're patient about them making a mess, you're about to explode, all of a sudden God works through you. And together, you both have God in the center, like Nilong and Nina said, it's going to work. All right? You've gone through, what, 13 years? What's a lifetime to you, right? 13 years now, see Nina, right? Um, and, and you're still going at it. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we have something visual once again, and we're upping the level this time. Now, this is the on-site presentation meeting, uh, capturing the highlights from the ceremony to the reception party, which is tonight. So don't click, as you might see yourself. This time, we present our on-site photo. Uh, 
I hope and pray that uh, the ball keeps rolling in the same direction as I hand over my daughter Mia to marry the man she loves. Uh, I hope your Papa Yuri is here to see you and we could have walked you down the aisle together <laughs> as what he always wanted to do. <laughs> uh, it is overwhelming to realize that life goes, uh, time goes by so fast. Uh, it seems that it was only yesterday when we were that with a girl who we could <laughs> hold and hold <coughs> our arms and always happy to play with her at the Rohan and Kuya Robert. Now she's already grown up and I believe uh, she is already, I believe she's already ready to take the responsibilities of life. Okay, uh, so. <laughs> uh, uh, our children are our pride and joy. So we take care of them, we guide them along the way, and we also cheer for them in their achievements in life. Uh, just like today is one of their achievement and it's a milestone for them. As a mother, I am filled with mixed emotions. Uh, first, I am happy because finally, uh, after 30 years of being boyfriend and girlfriend, you are finally getting married. And at the same time, I'm also a little, a little bit, bit worried because I know you will be starting to build a family of your own. And anyway, I am just here for you always. <laughs> I'm looking at my daughter right now, <laughs> I see that she's a beautiful bride. Wow. But let me tell you, Mia, that uh, being a bride is just the start of a new chapter in your life. So, uh, uh, so I hope you are ready uh, and to undertake this new chapter of your life. That is, uh, as a wife, as a best friend, and as a confidant to that. And later on, get reading as a mother to your own three children. <laughs> okay, so with these new undertakings, I advise you to be uh, strong, to be brave, and to be patient. For these are some of the many ways uh, I I, I, these are some of the many ways that helped me in raising our family and it also helped me to help you grow into a <laughs> responsible person and a uh, beautiful and uh, a yeah, responsible person. Okay, so kay, ano, kay Nat, Ano sa sabi ko? Ah, nat nat ang awi pati ko tol nat sa bahay namin. So, uh, our family uh, knows you already. You have been with us for so many years. So I think I have nothing more to advise you, but just to be, just to be yourself and. Be the best of yourself in everything you do. Uh, we welcome you and accept you as who you are, as who you will be, and as how you will act as a head of the family, of your own family. So, uh, as newlyweds, 
uh, there is nothing more important for us than your happiness. So today, uh, we see you take those first steps to the future full of love, peace, and joy in your hearts towards a successful and happy married life. Okay, so... So, in behalf of your Papa Yuri, <laughs> so, uh, do take care of each other well. For in each other, you always find strength. Uh, always put the Lord our God in the center of your relationship, in the center of your family, and in all your actions. Uh, Trust in Him, so that no matter what, uh, he, uh, he will always have the best in store for you. So, congratulations to both of you. Uh, I, we wish you the best of everything in life, and we love you always and forever. Thank you, Ian Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please. Beautiful words spoken, and obviously, Bobby Rose with an approving message. You know, usually that's when a man decides that she's the one when mommy approves, right? She sees things that us men don't see. She knows a woman, well, she's a woman, sometimes she can see, all right, through others. Uh, but for me, being a, a lawless boy, it wasn't my mom because my mom would approve any of my exes. Alright, I got any exes, I don't want to. Anyways, but my Lola, she approved the one, one woman only. Uh, she wasn't very vocal about it, but I would see how her face would light up and how she would welcome this particular woman at home. The other ones I would bring home, like it's not to be oh, you can find out if it's a bite, no. But this one, uh, she didn't care. She could spend the night and she'd be fine. Alright, so that's the keeper. So this time, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of a keeper, we have a video okay, presentation okay. and the purpose of this is not only to remind you that this has been a wonderful day, a celebration of a, a union of marriage and of course dining with loved ones, but also for these two to replay whenever they want to relive this moment. It's a name celebration tonight and for how many years. This is actually one of the purposes of that, right? So ladies and gentlemen, all eyes on our lead ball, please. As we present something spectacular, our on-site video. Thank you for accepting our invitation to be our 
our friends, to the one closest to us, thank you very much. Lord Everyone, so thank you, just a mere thank you for being here, witnessing our love and uh, this new chapter of our life. Uh, we are truly grateful for your presence. And this event will not be possible if not to my wonderful and loving and very uh, very helpful suppliers. I would like to start off the um, our celebrity uh, the church Secret Heart Parish uh, to Father Bob who officiated the mass earlier to Cameo events to Jane. Thank you very much for this wonderful setup. Um, Kath, LA, and the team, Kathy Uwe Photography and Audience Production, thank you very much for uh, capturing all our photos and our videos tonight. Um, to our suit and gown, Francis Gimera, Brian Couture. Um, um, phones and please. Phone. Um, the for our drinks. I hope you had enjoyed. You, you enjoyed the drinks. Now we prepared for you. To a casual hotel for the for the place and for the food. I hope you have a soft meal. Na gusto ko tano ng sa mga we prepare sa mga pili na pagkaon para sa inyo pa. Lights and sound. Um, SR. SR audio for the lights and sound process. Um, alarms for the dessert bar. Uh, picturesque for the uh, photo booth and for the 360. Um, uh, the uh, yung cocktails. Cocktails for the. Uh, cocktails. Parts to go, then alarms. Wait, lang po. And most especially to our coordinator Bird and the whole team, Mel, uh, Chet, Russell. <laughs> Thank you, Kaya. You know, from day one, I'm supporting us. I'm going to change the changes. Salamat, Kaya, sa pag-a-come on it. Burn. Yeah, we appreciate your support. Salamat, Kaya. Kat, L.A. Kinsa pa pa? After the cake. Cake. Um... Si Honey Loyola for the cake. So, I guess that's all. Kung wala mo ko rin. Kung ako yung nakalimtan, sorry. Thank you, Kaya, sa pag-accommodate sa mga yun. That's all. And let's have a lovely evening. And please enjoy the night as we go. Please keep safe. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. and Mrs. Ball. All right, from this moment on. That's that's how we'll address them collectively. But we're not done yet. Matt, Matt and Mia, we would like to uh, test how well you know each other or your specific opinions of one another, alright? I have a series of questions and this is a game for them, alright? We are done, we, sir. Again, like I said, I know Mia is part of the family as well. Since um, she's part of um, Iceman's family. Uh, her Uya Alvitz is actually my Kuhari, he's in some of my, my firstborn. We became very close during our radio years. So, I'm part of the Lucero family as well. So this time, we will ask questions, and the mechanics goes like this. If it's Mia, the you think I'm referring to, you raise... Okay? There you go. You raise the slippers or the sandal of the bride, and if you think it's the groom, which is that, who is guilty of such description, then you raise the shoe. 
And they both will answer to each one. Alright, so for example, example lang, test run. Who is most likely to die in the zombie apocalypse? Right? So, I mean, they're all most likely to die, right? But in this case, probably the one who uh, slows to move, the one who um, freaks out and panics during such moments, and they will have to decide who they think is among the two of them. So here we go. First question. And a lot of these questions are really incriminating. So, uh, Kake, this is your fault. Now we have to pick out the, uh, the ones that's for public consumption. All right. Who is most likely to be arrested for doing something silly or stupid? <laughs> wow, big okay, that's marriage right there, right? They, they'd rather go to jail than the other one, okay? So, uh, yeah, meaning you can't be witnesses, you can't be uh, legit witnesses to the crime of the other because you will obviously account for the crime. So that's the first question. So Matt thinks it's him and me and Nick is her. So they both will spend time in jail, basically. <laughs> that sounds like guilty. Okay, next one. Who is most likely to fall asleep after getting it on? Getting it on. Now I know I heard from Nino uh, uh, that's quite the snorer. So I don't know. That's an indicator. Okay. They will both fall asleep. Okay. All right. So I applaud you now for taking you one for the team. But me actually says both of them will be out for the night. Uh, so please come along this evening after this. All right. No messaging. You know they have uh, three kids to. Uh, <laughs> So you have to start early. Okay, um, all right, one more. Who is most likely to have been a heartbreaker back when they were younger? Now, fun fact, they uh, worked together when they were younger, but just assuming that they didn't meet each other, they went through separate paths, who do you think will have a more colorful love life history? Is it gonna be you? That or is it gonna be Mia? Be honest, come on, be honest. You know each other, come on. Come on. Me and Jeff Lacey, I know you love your husband, but you're like, okay, alright, finally they agree on something. So, Mia is the player, but Matt is the Gordo Bacanista guy, I think. Alright, let's, uh, let's run through a couple more. We're trying to get to know these two, so I'm doing these questions. Who is most likely to quit their job and go traveling? You may know all attitude, and you want. Hey, I don't want to see that you at all. Secretary of Finance. Like to travel and shop, right? No. Oh, I don't want to try me. Are we going to go? All right. One more. One more. Who is most likely? Now, this is hard because I accuse my wife of spending more for online shopping than myself, but she just buys baking stuff. from Shopee, and I order like airsoft guns and stuff. So, if you don't have to order, but it's pricey. So, I just tell my wife, oh, that's for the sun, you know, so I like it, I'm going to take it. And then she sees the toy gun, and it looks real, and it looks real. Okay, okay, so we'll find out. So who is most likely, alright, to spend the most money on online shopping? Okay, now, here's, here's what I learned about myself and my wife. Women buy a lot of things, but they're mostly cheap stuff, right? Women brag about the cheap stuff that they buy. Guys brag about the expensive stuff that they buy. That's the difference. Isa lang yung sapatos, very easy. The babae na lang, dahil sapatos, puro mao siya. Right? Korea, whatever. Right? Right? So, it's not necessarily equal dipping, but yun ang small mamakasin. So, think this through. Does this will affect your marriage? Right? Okay. 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 No, we're not talking about the bulk here, we're talking about the amount. You know, uh, sneak, sneak your head, ka. Right? Sneak your head, ka. Ba? Okay, how are you? You experience Nike and Adidas online? Oh my god. Alright, so uh, yes, collectively, it's not. So, I'm not going to talk about the handling of the budget. Right? But uh, congratulations to both of you. Obviously, we appreciate your honesty and your support for one another.
And it's time for us to celebrate this evening with uh, some drinks. I think you two have to walk over there and uh, meet everybody. And ladies and gentlemen, by the way, the prize that they won tonight is each other. So, <laughs> they'll have to deal with the person that they thought of in their heads while I was asking those questions. But once again, um, you know, the, that advice by Nino uh, Nelson about the financial transparency amongst marriage, I don't know, for some reason that doesn't work in my marriage. Uh, my wife doesn't demand to see my, uh, my expenditures because I'm a collective account, but I also have my own, she has her own. So, you know, she's free to buy what she wants. And the bottom line is, I got married at 34, she got married 20-something, so we were adults when we got married. And you have to treat your partner as an adult, so that they will behave as such, right? Okay, you, you, you get married to get out of your parents' control. You don't get out of marriage to be controlled by another. And I think that also takes responsibility amongst yourselves. And these two are good. So can we have these two stand up and request everybody to stand up as well. Collectively on the count of three. We will conclude this portion of the celebration. So basically, I'm a boy and I'm going to as loud as we possibly can, all right? And of course, Corn Day will pick up where I leave off. So ladies and gentlemen, all rise. And if you guys want to join the couple, I don't know so, so, that this has any still advice, but we would like everybody to please, can we have at least the parents, the mommies, to uh, join these two on the side? And everybody? Yeah. Please join the couple. Just be surrounded by family and love.